Are you ready to hear the dumbest thing you will ever hear in your entire life? Every now and again you come across a video that is so screen punchingly bad that you've just got to make an off the cuff response. Um, oh, by the way, if you're a faint of heart or weak of bowel, fuck off now. There's your trigger warning. Trigger warning. Hang on, hang on. That's not how you trigger warning. That's how you fucking trigger warning. Because this is going to be as sexist and misogynistic as fuck. And hopefully quite funny. This should be fun. I like some BuzzFeed stuff. I like their old 90s kid things of how'd you think about them. Those, can you tell the difference from fast food things and the frozen pizza thing. I like those. They're really good. BuzzFeed Yellow is, uh, as I would describe it, one of the most socially relevant um, I, I can't even joke about it. Buzzfeed. You know how gross it is when you're walking along your backyard and then suddenly you step in some dog poop? Yeah, that's how I feel every time I'm roaming the internet that I bump into a Buzzfeed video. Let's be honest. So we all know Buzzfeed is the internet equivalent of ass cancer. The cancer. Ass cancer. The ass cancer of the internet. Internet equivalent of cancer. Uh, okay. We know this, and I'm pretty sure the website is a government experiment created to test my patience. Oh, BuzzFeed. <laughs> Fuck BuzzFeed. I'm mean, starting to really hate BuzzFeed. And what's with this color thing? Yellow? Is there blue and stuff? What, is it? what does it even mean? With the backgrounds? You no, know, BuzzFeed, yellow, buzz. That's what the channel's called. Oh, I don't know. It's just different channels of bullshit. They are obviously doing their best to be the most racist and sexist channel on YouTube. I know BuzzFeed really is picking at the low hanging fruit in terms of things to shit on, but the sheer reach of this website is insane. BuzzFeed, it's a site most of us either love or despise, but if you don't despise them after watching this video, you might just be a robot. They've never made a valid point, if I might say. Uh, they're good when you're bored.
They're known for hits like, let's get fat women to do poses only fit gymnasts can do, being a woman is hard because compliments, and damage control the video. And a long list of retarded videos in which they have a particular group ask a bunch of questions to another group. Now I'm aware that on the surface, BuzzFeed just seems to be a giant media company that produces overwhelming amounts of clickbait. Which it is, but today we are going to dig a little deeper and take a look at a video from BuzzFeed Yellow. Probably the sect of BuzzFeed content that I find the most unbearable. Neither the chains of dictatorship nor the fetters of oppression can keep down the forces of freedom for long. That sounds like someone's trying to get in my pants. I'm gonna say it's a guy. Well, I think they're a bunch of fucking idiots. One day I wish to go really in-depth on this website, like make a feature-length discussion about all the fucking inane shit it posts. But for now, we'll just discuss this one video. And they have the nerve to put the big titty woman on the thing. Recently, the death of journalism, BuzzFeed. They had one video where they had Australians trying American fucking lollies. And half those fucking lollies, I can get up the shop in my little rural town. And they're saying, oh, we've never seen these before, or... Did you get, like, the, the, the two dumbest fuckwit Aussies you could find to fucking do that? I mean, for fuck's sake. I mean, honestly, those can't seem to me like they've been held in the fucking bubble their entire lives. Holy shit. There's this thing called Pop Rocks. Yes, we've had them for fucking decades. I had them when I was in fucking school. In all fairness, a large portion of the channel's content is relatively harmless, but there are still many videos on the channel that have an absolutely obnoxious bias towards feminism and social justice. Third wave slacktivist feminism from a website based around clickbaits and top 10 lists and quizzes. What a time to be alive, folks. Do you know why I'm drinking my 17 days in a crack house in this big fucker right here? Right, so this has been floating around like a third in a toilet bowl that don't flush. I can only describe as my own version of hell. I might have to change my mind after watching this video. The reason why I had to make a video about this is because I actually know people who nod their empty fucking heads to this gibberish. Because apparently they realize they're only oppressed because someone on the internet that I don't even fucking know told them I'm oppressed like two years ago on Tumblr. <laughs> this one in particular is called 36 Questions Women Have for Men. Uh, but I think they mistitled this video. Hold on, let me fix that. And there we go. 36 Questions Feminazis Have for Men. 36 Questions from a Bunch of Vacuous Cunts. 36 pointless, inane, sexist, bizarre, and just overall disturbing and offensive questions. I think it should be entitled 36 derogatory statements that sexist, liberal bigots have to degrade their fellow man. How to further a BS liberal agenda of man-hating and sexism. And they're pretty fucking retarded and they deserve pretty fucking retarded answers. The end result is three minutes of drivel. I'm feeding a dead horse here. I just feel the need to respond to it because they were asking for it. There are feministic views and how they hate on men. Like, I know many girls have questions for me. The questions were not that good. Why are you following me? And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not following you. It, it is just crazy. There is nothing more polarizing than asking a loaded question whilst knowing that no one can answer that loaded question for you or at least you won't listen to the answer. And this is kind of what they did. And I want everyone to pay very close attention to the utter pompousness and smugness, the insufferable, conceited nature of the people in this video. I mean, it's just unbearable. And also pay close attention to the more obvious divide and conquer narrative, right? To get men and women to not trust each other. They didn't pick any like actual normal, rational, sane women, like, you know, the kind of women you would actually want to meet. They, they picked these raging, freaking penis envy feminists. BuzzFeed is often accused as being too feminist, but if there's something that this video does not promote, it's definitely feminism. My feminist friends in real life have asked me before why I speak so adamantly against feminism. And at one point in time, I would have explained all of my arguments, 
I would have laid out every single intellectual counterargument I have against the feminist ideology. But I don't need to do that anymore. Because after I've watched this video, all I need to do in response to the question as to why I speak so passionately against feminism, all I have to do is show them this BuzzFeed video. In what female-only leper colony are these women asking these inane questions from? Uh, I watched the beginning of it. Just kill me right now. Yeah. Just kill me. And it made me want to kill myself. Put me out of my misery. It's stupid. This is a dumb one. Now, this video has got to be a trolling video. Uh, 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 it just has to be a trolling video. They're asking questions. It's an honest search for truth, isn't it? I mean, I'm not sure what their motive is in releasing a video like this, because what it does is it takes, like, every known gender controversy, every topic, and it condenses it down into about three minutes of these little quips of these these opinionated women giving us some type of question that's purely rhetorical. I mean, there, there's like, it, there's no genuine curiosity in any of the videos. So it just seems like a, a kind of a propaganda device. It hurt my brain too much. I want this to end. I've been here for about 30 seconds already and I just want it to go away. There, there was a couple things that really stood out to me. Um, a lot of it seems to be, uh, the questions are based on what the women have a preference for, right? What their particular taste is. So they say like, oh, why don't you like romantic comedies or Beyonce or something like that? And just, to me, this just is, I mean, that's just dumb. I mean, everybody has their own preference and it's not specific to a gender, you know, exclusively. It's not exclusively gender related. It's just people have different tastes. Boys and girls have different tastes. Their minds are wired differently. It pretty much lacks understanding. It pretty much shows how a lot of women assume that men's brains are wired just like theirs are and they feel like we're acting in a specific way when we're just being us and we're just different. We're fundamentally different than women. Characteristics and stuff, men and women are different. It doesn't mean one's worse or one's better. It just means we're more suited for particular tasks or, or other things. Women are much better at sitting with their legs together. You know, that's not a bad thing. Women are not inferior by these judgments and men are not inferior by these judgments. We're just different and it's okay to be different. We don't need to put everybody in the same, you know, box that's, you know, both male and female. It's, it's stupid. I'll be generous and call it crappy video. What I find really interesting about this particular style of video is, you know, they're getting even worse. You know, the 48 things from HuffPo, 48 things women hear that men just don't, right? At least there was an actual division. There was an actual place that you could stop between where one statement ended and the next one began. But in this one, they're actually overlapping the audio of the different statements. Right. If if you so, it's really really hard to to cut the video where you know you've finished what one person has said and the other person has not yet begun talking, right? And all of this is designed to to make it happen so quickly, right? Make all of these statements happen so quickly that you never have a chance to actually sit down and think about any of them in particular, and then you're left with this sort of overall kind of prop propaganda thing that, that you haven't actually had any opportunity, any time and space to consider the, the validity of. You've just got this overall huge sort of theme that's stuck in your head because they, they just ran all of these things one after another, overlapping them, making it impossible for you to stop and actually contemplate whether any of them is valid. I wish they'd let a little bit of fucking leeway in there because this is just sort of like a fucking a shout down to fucking to people, really. This isn't really a sort of like a 36 questions. This is sort of like a, I'm going to make a fucking statement and then get on to the next one and fucking just leave it at that and you've just got to fucking try and keep up. It's, yeah. quite, the, uh, it's quite the hypnotic gish gallop, really. Yeah. I've, I've started just calling them gish galloping prats because it's... A, a totally apt description for them. We all know what the gish gallop is, where you just throw a shitload of points at someone, yeah, and you just kind of rely on overwhelming them so quickly with points that they, they can't ever really recover from it. It's like, okay, well, you said this at the beginning, 
and then you try and address that. It's like, oh, no, no, but what about this point? What about this point? What about this point? It's like, well, if you'd stop fucking talking for like 10 seconds so I can actually do it, yeah. then I'll go with that. And the reason for the prat part is, well, the, the point, um, point refuted a thousand times, P-R-A-T-T. Um, usually what these sorts of people throw around as well is the point refuted a thousand times. Like, I guarantee you, I've, I've not even really watched this. So I can't remember any of the points they make, but I guarantee you there's going to be the sort of things like the one in five women or the wage gap or something like that is going to be put in here. Of Even course. though it's been refuted and addressed so goddamn many times, they're still going to put it in because yeah. it adds to that extra gish gallop. It's just that this is going to take you so fucking long to ingest and deal with and they often just fucking know that what they're saying is totally wrong and it is just a strategy of hypnotize people and you probably won't notice half of the bullshit that we say you'll just accept it and swallow it all which is again why we have this constant sort of light music going all the way through it and why they overlay the audio from the next person with the previous person's face by a couple of seconds it's just so it all fucking runs together yeah. As you said, just to stop you from being able to say, right, stopping here, addressing your point, here's, how, here's why you're a fucking moron, next person. This whole video is a series of judgments of projections about how they view uh, men. That's, I mean, that's pure judgment. And most of these are negative. The way that they're characterizing men in these things, saying something about talking about boobs for hours like we're some type of adult who, you know, is fixating on some dumb object. That's a severe judgment based on an entire man or entire mankind when the whole thing is it's they're all ridiculous assumptions regarding fringe behaviors the people that they're talking about in these things are like people that are conduct they're the worst parts of society and they are universally condemned by males and females alike a lot of the behavior that they describe is just terrible and because it's so terrible even men think it's stupid i mean it's dumb now, there are some kernels of truth in there that should get addressed, but they get drowned out by all this ridiculous hyperbolic propaganda. So I think it's really just, it's kind of a waste of an effort to make a video like this because it hides some things that, that are true and that should be addressed by, by lumping it in, by conflating it with all the other stupid stereotypes about men. There's a lot of flaws and there's a lot of contradictions about what they are saying. It's like really generalizing and it's really false information and it's saturation and it's incoherent from the facts. No, it's just like a massive sluice of bullshit. You know, like it's- The fire hose of shit, as Goodfellow would say. Yeah. 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 So. Three seconds of shit sprayed anywhere. Congratulations, you're now spending the next five hours cleaning it up. Oh. Uh -huh. All right. And then they accuse you of Oh wow! Way to write a novel, right? Yeah, or yeah. They will then do that. It's like, oh, you're you're over analyzing things. Yeah. It's or like, oh, that's another thing which I wanted to make a point about this. These little light-hearted bullshit gish galloping prats, they fucking love doing this thing where it's like, oh, you've responded in depth to this. Oh, it was just meant to be a bit of light-hearted entertainment. Why are you over analyzing? Why are you so serious? It's that thing that we're seeing feminists doing now, where it's um. Oh, you're, you're overanalyzing. Why are you taking it so seriously? It's satire. Yeah. It's that same fucking argument again. Yeah. Basically. Oh, yeah, no, it, it's not serious. We were just being, you know, uh, lighthearted and silly and goofy, right? Yeah, no, except you aren't. Is this all women? Is this some women? But regardless, these women are presuming to be asking questions, and one of them wasn't even a question from what I could gather, so... They're just insinuations, assumptions. Let's not forget the inevitable Kafka trap of, uh, oh, you took this joke thing so seriously, you're being so defensive. Oh, well, that's just proof that we're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These things are becoming so fucking carefully... It's like they found this perfect medium where no matter what you do, you are always wrong because you're either taking something too seriously that wasn't supposed to be, proving that you're guilty because you're defending yourself against it, or giving a fucking teal deer to it. Yeah. <laughs> you can't oh. fucking win! Yes, I'm sorry, but I do have a penis. I, I just want to be equal! Alright, here we go. Ah! I would 
enjoy it if you joined me in watching the video as well so that we could join in mocking it because it is so stupid. So without further ado, I present to you... Wait! Okay, now I'm ready. Ladies. Anyway, let's have a look. Alright, take it away, stupid cunts.